good evening folks we are definitely not in a remote location today we are where i live we are right downtown probably be a lot of vehicular noise but i can't do nothing about that the reason that i'm here is because some of this some of this bank down through here just looks absolutely delicious for some top water bites which brings me to the actual reason of the video shop carl's mystery tackle box and the guggen squad folks have recently unleashed the mini poppin filthy frog so i wanted to come down here test this frog out on some of this grassy rocky banks and see how it would do so we do want to thank the sponsor of today's video mystery tackle box for sponsoring this video not only can you get the subscription boxes but you can pick up individual baits like the mini poppin filthy frog and one other thing that i really wanted to do in this video is test that frog out against some uh, against some other different top water baits to see can it hold up so i am traveling light on the tackle today let me show you what all i've got i have a big rebel popper i've got the small rebel popper i've got the filthy frog the mini popping filthy frog and one other bait now this one here i don't know how the frog's gonna do against this this is a uh jackal pick you pick you this is a japanese bait this bait here sells for about 35 dollars online so we're really going to put these baits to the test I'm definitely going to try i'm starting i'm going to start with the frog give myself 10 or 15 minutes per bait and see if i can't get some top water blow ups on this stuff sorry for the road noise you just kind of have to deal with it i don't like it either but that's it oh forgot one other top water bait we got the uh whopper plopper mini in a bone color i forgot the number but it's the smallest one i'm gonna get all these baits out of the packaging test them all against the frog let's see if the mystery tackle box baits can outfish the rest of them we're gone well guys we are ready i got the frog tied on starting with the frog there it is this is all the lures i have on me today in this box i have a couple poppers whopper plopper and that expensive japanese lure that's all we got the conditions today have actually been really good like the sun's not been out at all it's been cloudy and i was hoping it would stay cloudy especially if i'm top watering but the sun has popped up it is fall today is the official first day of fall so uh i don't know how a top water bite's gonna be i know our nights are getting cool in the 50s and 60s at night so oh i have never fished here as far as i know but it looks great now before anybody else runs their mouth on what i'm fishing with i do have a spinning reel for top water why that pick you pick you bait is very very light it cannot unless you've got a bfs reel you cannot fish with that with a uh, you cannot fish with that on a bait caster you just can't do it so i, I do got a bigger setup to give me a little bit more leverage for setting the hook but the wind ain't blowing all day either and here it is cutting up has to be expected first cast Guess we need to find out how cold this water is. Ooh, boy. It is cooling down, let me tell you. So I can't get nothing to act too interested in the frog. Let's we'll go ahead and switch it up. 
Do we want to go mini popper or whopper plopper or expensive Japanese? You know what? Let's go Japanese. Now this bait here is interesting. How it its action is interesting. Uh, most topwater baits kind of kind of go side to side. This one actually turns over, and kind it's kind of like a mix between a wacky rig and a and a jerk bait and a spook. When you twitch it, it goes like that. Let's see if they interact with it any better. Wow, even on this, even on this spinning reel, this is difficult to get over there. Oh, did y'all see it? Oh, I watched it come up and hit it. Okay, I see you. Picky, picky. Switching up. Got one hit on this thing. Let's try the old plop, Daddy. See that? See that? Plop, Daddy! There we go. Number one, guys. That is a spotted bass, too. This is about the only place in the county where you can catch all three large, small, and spotted. But that come on that uh, mini whopper plopper, so. It is in the lead as of right now. Thank you, Missy. Really hope I got the bite, too. Another one hit it. Well, so far, the plop daddy is outperforming the frog and the high dollar. Japanese bait. Somebody's been down here drinking beer. Rivers is for fishing, not for drinking. And if ain't nothing around this log, I'd eat it. Y'all see that bass chase that bait up? Try not to fall in love with any of these lures. So far, the mini plop daddy has got three bites, caught one of them. Try the old papar. Dude, I know I'd come down here with a deadly nadly and catch a hundred. The wind is absolutely killing me right now. Try to get some top water action in a tornado. So I will now do the only thing I know to do. Go back to the bait that has caught the only fish so far. Wipe a plopper. See that? Second cast after putting it back on got blowed up.
I got a whole lot deeper back there than I wanted to. I about got umbilicus deep. That was not the, not what I wanted to do. I said I didn't bring no other lures with me. And I may have accidentally misspoken because I do have my September mystery tackle box. I'm just gonna tell you, all these topwater baits have not worked. Let's see, we got a spinner bait. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay. Okay. The only problem that I see is the wind. Let's see if the old worm can do anything for us. I don't know. Wind's blowing so hard right now. I can't even feel it. So. Maybe something will pick it up. Jerk it out of my hand. Peace be still. That didn't work at all. There you have it, folks. I don't know if the top water bite was just so bad or if this wind was absolutely killer, but I have to give the wind to the Whopper Plopper. It is the only one that caught fish. So if you want to see more of these lure versus lure videos, let me know. Keep those lines wet, champions. We're gone.